beautiful people angel here angel b and today guys we've got this look yes my anchor inspired look if you'd like to see how i achieve this please keep on watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet make sure you subscribe before you leave as well so guys let me not bore you too much with a, such a big intro see you in my next one guys bye hey guys today i'm going to start with my eyes to prime my eyes i'm using this milani eyeshadow primer this is such a good primer guys prevents creasing and makes sure your eyeshadow stays in place all day this doesn't give much coverage though so i go back in with my la pro concealer and phone this provides a brighter surface that will allow my eyeshadows to pop I make sure to also set it with a translucent powder. Using my Nubian 2 palette, I'll be using Morocco which is a pure orange color and pat it just above my crease and blend. Going into the same Nubian 2 palette, I'm going to be using Madagascar, which is just to place above the Morocco, and this is just going to help diffuse it to create a smooth transition between the two colors. For my masquerade, masquerade palette, I'm going to go in with Ada, which is a burnt orange color to just intensify the orange color that I'd placed earlier. Using my e.l.f. blending brush, I'm just going to go back in and just blend everything together. And this is the secret with eyeshadow, guys. You just need to blend and blend as much as you can. Back into the Nubian 2, I'm going to go in with Kenya into my crease. Time to cut the crease and I'm going to use the same concealer that I'd used before. And I just do this small silly trick where I look up to mark how far I'm supposed to cut the crease. And today I just decided to do a half a crease. I'm going to be using a yellow eyeshadow from the BH Cosmetics 2nd Edition palette. The fallout in this palette, guys, is insane. But then it just gets the job done, really. But I wouldn't recommend and say it's the best palette in the entire world. So I'll just pat it on my eyelids and where, like, I want my crease, where I've cut the crease. And back into the outer corner of my eyelids I'm just going to go back in there with Kenya and just use the brush to make sure that there's a smooth transition between the two eyeshadows as well I'm going to keep blending my two eyeshadows like my life depends on it because ain't nobody got time to be seeing you walking around with eyeshadow that is all over the place, girl. Get out of here, man. <laughs> For my waterline, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is in milk. And this is just going to give my eyeshadow something to stick to. Oh, 
using this blue eyeshadow from the same bh cosmetics i'll just pat that on the lower lash line and this is going to be matching my kitenge or the scarf that i'm going to be putting on my head so And I'll finish off using Ada on the bottom lash line as well. I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to just prepare my lashes for the falsies. And the falsies that I'm going to be using today are from Adele called Demi Wispies. If you like to see how I apply my false eyelashes, I'm going to link the video somewhere at the top and you can go and watch it. I will be priming my face with this NYX Angel Veil Primer. This must be the best mattifying primer of all time. I'm not even kidding, guys. As for foundation, I'm using my Revlon Color Stay in Cappuccino. Using this Colourpop concealer in Golden Deep to highlight the high point of my face. And I'll set everything using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. To create shadows on my face, also known as contouring, I'm using the Lepro Conceal in Mahogany. Mahogany, not Mahogany. <laughs> and I'll also use the same setting powder underneath just to make sure my contour is sharp and, you know, it's popping. I'm not going to let it stay for too long just to make sure it's not too harsh, so I'll immediately just brush it off. To set the rest of my face, I'm using Black Opal Deluxe Powder in Deep. And at this point, guys, I'm looking like a whole powdery mess. <laughs> but don't worry, guys, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to snatch my nose with this CoverGirl Bronzer. This is Ebony Bronze and also warm up the rest of my face where I'd applied my uh, contour. So I'll overall just set my face using the e.l.f. mist. For highlight, I'm using this Wet n Wild highlighter in Sangria.
onto my lips i'm going in with zipper by ColourPop. guys listen to this Thank you so much. So beautiful. Thank you. Oh, this is so cool. Thank you, baby. I will let you. That's my number one fan right there. Yay! <laughs> to finish off the look, I'm using this African print material, also known as Kitenge. This is how we always know them as and this part is basically self-explanatory guys i don't even know how you know i'll just twist it and turn it around if that's even anything to go by if you thought my foundation was lighter than my face at least now you can see the rest of my body is matching with my face so the lighting it can be a bit tricky and makes you look like you know i'm here to fix that with my camera but this is the final look guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys lots and lots and lots Mwah! make sure to like share and subscribe bye bye guys see you in my next one